Hi there, Caden here from Number Group. Today I'm going to show you how to use our new PBX system. The first thing you'll notice once you've had a PBX assigned to your account is the new PBX symbol at the top left. Selecting this will give you access to your PBX. Multiple PBXs will also appear in a drop down. The first thing you'll want to do with your PBX is probably change the name. All PBXs come with a default name. Here we're going to call ours London PBX. We're also going to assign it a default presentation number, and I'm happy with this one ending in 91. You also have settings for max fraud sessions and max fraud daily spends, which you can alter to your convenience. Once you're happy, select Save. The next thing you'll want to do is add extensions and groups. You can't add groups until you've added extensions, and you'll get this pop-up warning you. Let's add some extensions, and then in turn, some groups. I'm going to add two extensions, one for John and one for Paul. Many of the extension options can be altered, so here I'm going to call them accordingly so I can reference them. Once you're happy with the settings that you've put in your extension, hitting save will generate a password for you. To change the password in the future, just simply select the change password button. Here I've added a second extension for John and saved it and got my password and registration details. Once you're happy with your extensions, we'll then jump on to creating a group. Select group and new group. Each new group is given a default extension number and extension name. This group is for our admins, so we're going to call it accordingly admins. And we'll assign both Paul and John. We also want them to ring simultaneously. Once we're happy with the groups, extensions, and settings of our PBX, we'll then want a number to hit it, so we jump over to Numbers. Select a number from the list that you'd like to hit your PBX. I'm happy with this one ending in 91, which currently goes to a chunk. I want to add a new translation, which is going to be my PBX, and in turn, the administrator's group.